We protect nature and inspire people to care for our world. That's the motto of the Conservation Initiative at our Indianapolis Zoo. And they've just announced the nominees for the Indianapolis Prize Award for Animal Conservation. It's the world's leading award for animal conservation. Patty Spittler, who you know, is here brought to you by Pet Pals TV, along with Allie Flum from our zoo. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate it. Oh, it's so good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, too. I know. It's exciting. And to get to talk with Allie for the first time here. I know you come quite often, but it's fun to be here with you. This is a massive award, and, and I want people to understand how big that award is. Sure, yeah. Like you mentioned, it is the world's leading award for animal conservation. Nominees hail from across the globe, from Sri Lanka to Argentina, Brazil, uh, Dominic Republic of Congo. So really, all around the world, it's an international award that we're very proud of. How do you find these nominees? I mean, that's a big range of people. Yeah, they actually submit. So they, um, we send out um, a, a notice that we're accepting nominations, and then they are nominated by uh, one of their peers or colleagues, and then they go through a process with a nominating jury and committee um, from the Indianapolis Zoo, which houses international and renowned conservationists and local Indianapolis representatives who dwindle down the list of now the 51 nominees to, to the six finalists. Whoa. Wow. So you have to dwindle 51 people We're down, down to, to six. six. And then down to one. And the win it's every two years, right? Correct, okay. yes. So the last winner, I remember, because I spoke with her, she was into saving seahorses. Yes. And how that affects, you know, the rest of the world, because there's it's always a trail. Right. You know, one thing escalates into another and how we're messing up the sea bed and we shouldn't do that. So I just I just love conservation, so I think it's wonderful. And it inspires younger people, too, It doesn't it, to yes. be involved in conservation. And we actually have a new award this this year in 2023. It's the Emerging Conservationist Award, uh, which will honor um, conservationists under 40 years of age that are working to save species. Oh, look at this. Isn't this one for all the polar bears? We need to help them, too. Isn't I mean, when you see how lovely... And how beautiful our world can be! Oh, tortoise! I just I want to be I want to start over life and be a <laughs> it, it is it's such a tall task, and oh. and it's important to get those people under the age of forty involved too, right? Because right. we want that to be something that's fostered through a young age to, to the point where they're hopefully getting these massive awards. Sure, yeah, and that was the whole point of this new award for animal conservationists is to encourage younger generations to get involved in conservation, whether it's from recycling or reducing waste or, you know, reducing your plastic source income. It's just getting people inspired is really what we're aiming to do here. I have to tell you, we go to the dolphin show every time we go to the zoo, and my kids' favorite part <laughs> is the video where the people are talking about the stuff they're yeah. doing to like help the dolphin population. And my daughter just got an award at, at school for being going green, and she's uh, she's oh. all about it, and, and it all comes from fostering at the zoo there. Yeah, so. well, that's that, those are the stories that we love to yeah. hear, and that's what we aim to do is empower people to to make good conservation choices and to uh, to help uplift these conservation. Yeah. Who well, are doing the work. And we hear so much. I mean, the news, we have to have it and know what's going on, but it's also good to see the positive news and what people are doing that is positive to help our world. So Absolutely. we need to do a story with your daughter going to the zoo. Maybe she could be a Yeah, be a blessed. <gasps> with her all the time. All the time. Right. See, thank you all the time. When are these finalists going to be announced? The finalists will be announced in early 2023, and then the winner will also be announced in April, or will be announced in April of 23. So we have some little time to give the jury some time to deliberate and, like I said, dwindle down those nominees to the finalists and then the winner. So it's a process, but it'll be in early 23 when we and make those we announcements. didn't mention how much is this prize, which they yeah. have, because they prize, have to help everybody. Yes. And it's, it's expensive. The winner of the uh, Indianapolis prize will receive a $250,000 prize. Wow. And the five and the five finalists each receive fifty thousand wow. dollars. Yes, that's, that's awesome. Allie, thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. it. Don't forget, Patty will be there. You can watch <laughs> Pet Pals TV on Saturdays at ten thirty a.m. right here on Wish TV. You can also go to petpalstv.com. And speaking of a tie-in, we've got an update on the Tigers this weekend Fun. and uh two of them one of them sadly passed we explained that but two of the amur is that amur, how I say it? yes yeah. and they're endangered tigers but we got an update with them with kj our kitty correspondent also george malay is on talking about the fastest harness racehorse in the world should be a kind of cool thank yeah. you both yeah. so much we appreciate it